with ZP, and ZP's <laughs> always been all about how the Winston doesn't doesn't pay rent here. Yeah. He's like tapped into some weird uh, some weird power grid, probably siphoning gas off of that space shuttle. Yeah, no, he's got like squatters at, rights. At what point, you know, does the uh, the government of Gibraltar just come in with imminent domain and like, no, we kind of need this land back. You're actually kind of a burden on the state. <laughs> 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 Winston, burden on the state. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> All right. Uh, what I, what I want to look at here is NIP. We talk a lot about uh, uh, Linkser. It would be yeah. great to this. Yidi? Uh, yeah, for the longest time when the meta was Widow v. Widow, I didn't, I didn't think Linkser was the best straight-up Widow. He was the best counter Widow. Mm -hmm. like you could not take a Widow fight against him in good confidence. So he's going to come out early on and try to get this. And it looks like they're holding far forward. And again, you just want to see what that Tracer can do. If she gets something done early, then you dive in. But look, they know that that's where that needs to be. They know that someone's always lurking over there. Teams have just been telegraphing how they're running this aggressive defense. And now you got to be careful from Linkser. He just misses his shot, but still taking away those sight lines, taking away where the defense can actually set up. Yeah, oh, there it is. Headshot on Sepoko. He did it. Now, they're going to push forward. Winston jumps forward. He's got to be careful. He's got the uh, Discord orb on him. That could be a lot of damage if Lisa connects, but it's going to be Mafu and Zap is coming on in. Yeah, I just don't necessarily understand why that jump in came in where it jumped in. If you're going to jump, maybe jump the Widow, but all out of sorts is Gamer's Origin. And, you know, while we have a moment, I was just happy that that Hanzo didn't scatter arrow out, out of spawn. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. last week. <laughs> J Jason's not wrong. I, I do scream when I get scatter arrowed. Uh, <laughs> not, not incorrect, but, you know, people asked me earlier, like, hey, Hex, what do you do when your, your caster friends start casting your life? And I said, what caster friends? <laughs> and I think the last set really proves at that point with friends like these people. Just kidding. Happy birthday, Jason. All right. Links are still back here trying to get a little bit of work done. They do know where he is. Wow. Able to get that pack at the very last second. And haven't had a great answer for him. And, you know, oddly enough, this is a, a good counter to where the 76 wants to set up. Widow's a great natural counter yeah. to 76. It, it forces him right into the glass room right there. And already, I'm <laughs> oh, oh, He spots Dixie Dix for a split stop, second there, takes him on stop. out. Stop. And uh... already dead. <laughs> and now what, now what do you do? Your links are set up. Oh, oh. my god! Bye, Hype. It was nice <laughs> knowing you. I mean, that was a split spawn. That's the Gibraltar yeah. specialty right there, but... By, um, they, they need to get the Winston on them. They need to get some pressure onto them. And I think this is smart. Let's just chill for a second. Just everybody wait. We need to get organized back here. We got to get in behind our Winston. The, the thing is, they're only running the Winston here. Does he drop the bubble on the entry? Do you just deflect on the entry? They are able to take in the low ground. Smart, because generally you're watching that corner. Yeah, they were able to bum rush Zuppe there. Yeah. Takes him out of the equation. So now it's a 6v5. Makeno comes in. Takes out the Tracer. Pulse bomb. Not quite connected, but Poco will with that tactical visor. That's going to be a triple kill for him. Almost a clean ace there coming out from the side of Gamer's Origin. They're going to be able to reestablish, and this is important because they're going to be able to get the high ground here. They're going to be able to get Poco up there, and actually the entirety of Gamer's Origin making it on up. Yeah, you, you need that one kill to reestablish, but I really thought it was smart because everyone tries to come through that top window, and everyone knows that. It reminds me of uh, Rogue the other day. It was actually really well adaptable to where they, the enemy thought they were going to come in and where they did come in, so really nice smart entry from Gamer's Origin as now they have control of the high grounds. Let's see what Lynx are switching. Lynx are switched to the Genji. Dixie Dix is going to throw this blade futilely into a couple of support alts, get nothing out of it. Forces to transcend, I suppose, is the silver lining there. Lynx are also unable to get much Sound barrier coming out from Gamer's Origin, and now they're pushing forward. Zapis gets one kill, it's a Ben Best, but I think the damage has already been done. NIP needs to regroup, and so they have. They're going to uh, take uh, Sanctuary behind the storage units over there. But, oh, that could have been a good stagger, but he yeah. will be able to make it out. I'm not in love with that sound barrier. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's okay. There were 3v3, but kind of have some faith in your team to be able to clean that up without the sound barrier. You would have loved it for the next fight. And here's the thing about it. Summer is the closest thing to immortality that these teams have. I mean, transcendence works in its own ways. But now Kinnell knows that they've got sound barrier for their next fight. Oh, yeah. Pulse Bomb comes on out. Zik does not connect with it. Primal Rage was used by Ben Best, but... Oh, no, excuse me. Fraggy there. He drops back when he was dropped down to about 300 HP. Here we go. Offensive sound barrier coming up from Kinnell. They know they have the huge advantage, so they will try to press it. And now everyone goes with their boosted health pools to try to find a skirmish. Linkser and Zappas find and win their own skirmishes. 6v4. Oh. Never mind. Linkser and Zappas come alive, able to take down the rest of that team. That horn you heard is the team kill horn. 
Noki and Poco decide they do not like split spawns and will take the swim into the Sea of Gibraltar. And nice pulse bomb here in the corner and takes him down. That was the end of the fight right there. Pretty, pretty decent time. Gamers Origin did recover, though, in the shuttle phase, and now they are in position to hold on defense. I want to see what their target is for this Nano. Do you think it goes to the Blade? I want to see it go down as a blade because Dixie Dix has, hasn't been able to uh, perform without it so far. He gets one kill on the kill. It's going to be a one for one exchange, but it's Linkster coming in, getting the reset, gets two, but it is answered in kind. Right now, though, the payload, no one's pushing it quite yet, even though they've largely won this fight. Now Dixie Dix is back on in, but he's facing off against Fraggy, has to run back into the spawn. Yeah, Fraggy, actually, you know what's funny is he's played a little better in Winston this round. I think some of it is just the confidence, confidence? Yeah. For, from playing the Reinhardt, but his Winston has been getting in and getting out and getting all sorts of damage done. They're going to have the nice push here. A self-destruct can be brutal on this last point, too, because it's going to get everyone at least off the card. They're going to get 10 meters off it. Here it comes over the top. See if it finds anything. A primal rage to, I believe, save his life from Ben Best. Otherwise, he was going to go down. And then, look, he finds Fraggy in the primal rage wars over in the back, and that kill might be enough. Linkser gets a meter push uh, just by trying to get out of the way. It is time to retreat, and they will call the retreat right here. A little over two and a half minutes left here. Yeah, I, I like that attempt, right? Um, very few situations where you can set up a self-destruct like that. Why not just go for it and yeah. see if it connects? It forced out the primal. Yeah, and they have plenty of time. They still have two minutes, uh, two possibly three pushes in for NIP, and by that time, Mafu should get be able to get another self-destruct. But right now, yeah. Gamer's Origin on the high ground with that 76. That's going to be a tough position to try and force them out of. You know what's interesting as we watch Dixie here have to go back to spawn here, is that the last couple of fights, NIP has forced out ultimates that they've had the return ultimate on. So now they're going to have their own primal, and they know that they're going to have the huge advantage there. I'd be really surprised if we don't see Fraggy leap in and then pop his primal here, try to knock some people off. There comes the primal. Yeah, already three members down on the side of Gamer's Origin. They're starting to respawn. Here comes the Transcendence out from Hype just to stall this out. There are four members for Gamer's Origin oh, right now. Zig has to use his recall, but the Sound Barrier comes out from NIP, and they're going to continue to push forward. Now, the, the entirety of Gamer's Origin are back here, and with the DMEC onto Mafu, this is the opportunity that Gamer's Origins are looking for. Poco has his tactical visor at the ready, and he's going to go ahead and pop it. There is no defense matrix, so he's able to take out Zappas. That's a second kill, taking out Linkster. They're going to be able to clean up. That should be enough there for the cleanup, as you mentioned. Keeping a little better track of ultimates has been NIP. That was another big knock we had on them earlier. It just didn't seem like they knew what was going on. Mafu is not done just yet. And we talk about how if you can sit here and stall long enough, maybe your team can come back and reinforce, but I think this fight was over for a while. Mafu maybe yeah. misjudging using that self-destruct and it's an ult that, it's, it, like I said, it's so good to come over the top with it and force everyone to scatter. And with being two, like, two meters away, you can just self-destruct and get everyone off the cart. You can just push it in. 